Welcome to Hot Seat MD, a case conference review. The directions are simple. When the case appears, I will ask you to pause your media player. Then describe the study type and findings, give a brief differential diagnosis, and then check out the fast facts for additional information. Now pause your media player. Axial CT image reveals stranding in the fat in the vicinity of a descending colonic diverticulum. The differential diagnosis should include diverticulitis, which is most likely, or colon cancer, although this case clearly has an inflamed diverticulum present, and other forms of colitis. Now pause your media player. Now pause your media player. Axial and coronal CT images without IV contrast demonstrate a horseshoe kidney containing a non-obstructing calculus. The diagnosis is horseshoe kidney with renal calculus. There really is no differential diagnosis here. Now pause your media player. This axial CT image reveals a mixed fat and soft tissue mass arising from the mid to inferior right kidney. The diagnosis here is angiomyolipoma. There is no real differential diagnosis here, although there may be a report or two of renal cell carcinoma containing fat. For all practical purposes, this is an angiomyolipoma. Now pause your media player. This coronal CT image demonstrates left-sided hydronephrosis with two calcifications in the vicinity of the distal aspect of the left ureter. The differential diagnosis should include obstructive uropathy due to calculi, which is most likely in this case, given the distal ureteral calcifications. Also included could be blockage of a ureter due to scarring or tumor and vesicoureteral reflux. Now pause your media player. Coronal CT image of the abdomen demonstrates descending colonic wall thickening. The differential diagnosis here includes colitis, which I would favor in this case due to the long segment that is involved, as well as colon carcinoma. Now pause your media player. This axial CT image with IV contrast enhancement reveals an area of irregular enhancement in the left hepatic lobe with lateral extension of intermediate density fluid external to the liver. The differential diagnosis includes hepatic laceration, which would be most likely with a trauma history, bleeding due to anticoagulation therapy, or a ruptured hepatic lesion which most typically occurs with HCC or hepatic adenoma. Now pause your media player. This axial CT image demonstrates strand-like infiltration of the small bowel mesentery, the so-called misty mesentery sign. The differential diagnosis should include mesenteric paniculitis, which I feel is most likely here. Lymphoma is a possibility, although this would be more likely if adenopathy was present. A desmoid tumor could be added to the differential, although these are usually more soft tissue attenuation. A carcinoid tumor, while it could be included in this differential diagnosis, would generally also be more soft tissue in attenuation and would typically have calcifications associated with it. 
Now pause your media player. This coronal CT image reveals a dilated, enhancing, inflamed tubular structure in the right lower quadrant. The differential diagnosis should include acute appendicitis, but also inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease or other causes of terminal ileitis. Meckel's diverticulitis could also be added to the differential diagnosis here. 